Hey, hey, everyone. It is Pastor Levi, and I am so excited. It's Wednesday night, and we are live on YouTube. And joining me tonight from another state in Edgerton. Well, yeah, you're in Edgerton, aren't you, Chris? How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, Levi. So we are going to start off with a game. I don't think we have any announcements, nothing, nothing specific going on. Um, but we're going to jump into a game, and we have a couple of friends with us today. Of course, we have one of one from Angola and one from Edgerton. And why don't we invite our boys on, and, and let's get this game going. There you go. But wait a minute. There you go. What happens if they win the game? Well, so, so how are we playing this game? All right, so to me. we're going to play this game, and it's actually called OK Gen Z, Tell Me About Boomers. And now this is because of course, we all said OK Boomers for probably too many times. I've said it a couple times. But we're going to test our knowledge and see how well we know the boomers and how well we know some things about the boomers. So with that, we have Jacob Evans from Edgerton. Hey, Jacob. Howdy. And then and we have Marcus Miller from Angola. Good to see you, Marcus. How's it going? Um, so these guys, just by playing their name, is already in a drawing to win a prize. What is that prize going to be? So this prize, we are actually going to deliver. We're going to hand deliver whatever fast food restaurant you want. You tell us the name. Like, you've been missing whatever it is, we'll get it for you, and we'll deliver it to your house. Now, they're going to probably get, like, double entries because they're on here playing with us, yeah. but anybody commenting, you comment on here, comment some answers, um, then guess what? You're going to be entered in, too. So we'll do the drawing after the video is done, and we'll let you know who won. So here's another tricky part that we're going to add in. If you're watching together as a group, I know I have one small group leader that is doing like a screen share. They're going to share with me all the names of the people. Maybe you're watching two of you. Make sure you comment below. Hey, Leah and Harry here, you know, or whatever their names are. Make sure you comment who was all here because we want everyone's name to be in this drawing as we're playing. Okay, Gen Z. Okay, right? Gen Z. All right. So Marcus and Jacob, are you ready to play? Okay, Gen Z. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Really quick, so, before we play, you guys, how old are you, Jacob? I am 15. Okay, and you, Marcus? I'm 16. All right, so there's not really any advantage here. Here we go. There's not. So put your knowledge to the test as you compete to answer questions about the generation known as the boomers, also known as the baby boomers. The first question will start right off and have your answers ready, okay? Make sure you're typing your answers in as you think you've got them. Okay, Gen Z, why is this generation called the boomers? Why is this generation called boomers? A, a sudden spike in the birth of babies. B, nuclear explosions of World War II. C, a popular song. Or D, how rich they are. Marcus, what do you think? I'm going to have to go with A. You think it's A, a sudden spike in the birth of babies. Jacob, what are you saying? A as well. Ooh, they both like A. Chris, what is the actual and answer? The actual answer is A, a sudden it's spike a. in birth. Sudden spike in birth. A whole bunch of soldiers came back from war, and a bunch of babies were born after that. There we go. Oh, okay. Chris, what's the next question? We have a lot of answers coming in. Thanks, guys. Ooh, only one of them got it right. All right, so here's the question number two. All boomers remember this famous star, Mr. Ed. Who was he? A, a disc jockey. B, an animated character. C, a talking horse, or D, a variety show host? All right, I'm going to have to go with C. A talking horse. All okay. right. Jacob, what do you think? Talking horse. A talking horse. Hey, Wolver. <laughs> That's that actually right. There you go. Talk there you go. Let's go. I saw that in syndication, and like when it was in reruns. Hey, so a lot of people know that one. The next question. Hopefully we got some right answers down below. We have a lot the of next them. next question is... Now, I had explained this one to somebody. It used to be at the end of the day, like 8 or 9 o'clock at night, the television networks would run out of programs. Like they didn't play TV all night long. So what song would television networks play to signal the end of the programming day? So they run out of shows. It's the end of the day. Let's, let's call it A, Good Night Irene. Was that the song? B, The Star Spangled Banner. C, America the Beautiful. Or D, Armed Forces Medley. What do you think? Okay. C. <laughs> C, America the Beautiful. And yeah. Jake. Star Spangled Banner. All and right. the actual okay. answer is... B, Star Spangled Banner. That's oh, Jacob's up one. There you go. Oh, C. 
Chris, let's hear another question. I did not know that, by the way. I, okay. I did. Yeah. What was the name of a popular boy's haircut in the 1950s? A, a duck wing. B, a duck tail. C, a Ooh. duck bomb. Or D, a duck dodger. Now, of course, duck tail is a great cartoon. What do you guys say? <laughs> Ooh. B. A duck tail? Uh, I'm, going, I'm going with A, I think. Duck, the duck we, There we go. We got two mixed answers, and the answer is B, a duck tail. There we go. It's tied up that, again. That is one that I did not know. And then, So the next one is, which of the following was a popular bicycle accessory for boomers? Okay, so they would add this to their bicycles. Excuse me, the A would be a banana seat, B, an apple seat, C, a kiwi seat, or D, a pineapple seat. So choose your fruit. Choose your fruit. Um, a banana. A. Okay, A. And Jacob? Banana. Banana. And ding, 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 daily double. They are both right. There you go. Banana oh. seed it is. Uh-huh. So, Chris, I, I think you got another question, don't you? There you go. This school drill was made popular during the 1950s. A, active shooter drill. B, lockdown drill. C, fire drill. Or D, atomic bomb drill. Mm. D. D? Okay. Jacob? Now split between two, but I think I'm going to go fire drill. Fire drill. All right. And the answer is? D it is. Atomic oh, bomb no. drill. That's right. That's they right. were That's all right. scared of bombs hitting. There was actually a lot of rumors of war back then. Right. So my parents were baby boomers, and they remember doing the lockdowns and hiding under desks as though that's going to protect you from an atomic bomb. Yeah, no. <laughs> So let's put another question here. Which of the following took place as boomers were growing up? Okay, so during their childhood. A, a strike. B, World War II. C, the Challenger explosion. That was a spaceship. And D, Woodstock. So there you go. Which one of those? Those are major things that were going on. So which one happened? B. World War II, you say? Yep. And Jacob? Um, let's go World War II. All right. You're Sorry. both wrong. So World War II was what happened right before. Because of World War II, that's why they say that boom. Oh, oh, you're right. The actual oh, answer is Woodstock. Woodstock. So I don't know what that is. <laughs> it was a big musical uh, concert event where many, many people went to it. And, and lots of interesting <laughs> things happened. Lots, lots of, of bad things happened there. So the next question is... What okay. genre of music was created during the baby boom? What genre? So A, rock and roll, B, country music, C, hip-hop, or D, R&B? Which one happened? Rock and roll. What say you, Jacob? Uh, rock and roll. All right. He starts other music. It was during the baby boomers. Yeah, that's very true. Rock and roll. There you go. And Always actually, started. it was a big deal. They said it was devil worship. Yes, a lot of people did not like rock and roll. They thought it was terribly inappropriate. I think we've got a couple more questions. I'm going to we give got you another one. Two more. Two more questions. So there was a popular TV show for boomers. It was called I Love Lucy, and maybe you've seen it. But what was the name of Lucy's friend? Lucy had a, a good friend. A, Myrtle. B, Arnie. C, Ethel. Or four, or D. <laughs> I actually did not know this one. So Chris kind of laughed over the last one. So it was either Myrtle, Arnie, Ethel, or Frankie. All right, I have no idea. So this is going to be a complete guess, but I'm gonna, going with C. Ethel. What do you think, Jake? Uh, I'm going with Ethel as well. That was a good go. guess. It was Ethel. Ethel. There you go. All right, Chris, you get the last question, and we're checking out the comments. So make sure people are, are – make sure you're commenting and, and let us know you're here. A lot of these people either are looking them up or they know them. But anyways, which of the following <laughs> numbers takes the longest to dial on the rotary phone? So if you don't know what a rotary phone is, that's one of those where you had the circle and you had to move it. Which number takes the longest to dial? A, 0, B, 1. C5 or D9? My grandma had one of those rotary phones. 
I zero. Jacob, what do you say? Zero. Zero is correct for both of you. That is. Oh. There you go. And somebody in the comments said seven. Like, come on. That wasn't even an option. <laughs> All right. got to flick them in the nose. Write, write down, down their name, and we'll come into their, their house and flick them oh right in the nose. Oh, my God. So, so you guys keep score. How did you do? How did you do? I got two wrong. Nice. Team Angola. I think, what? I think we may have tied. Ooh. Well, okay. Well, we'll have to go back to the... We're going to watch the video to make sure. But, hey. Um, um, yeah, because right. I'm pretty sure Angola won on that one. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to... Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys both get... I'm going to say two enters into the drawing. Um, I'll give one extra to the guy who won, which I think it might have been Marcus. But we'll check that out later. Uh, real quick, I have this picture... So I, so Chris, have you ever been called a baby boomer? Or hey, or hey, hey boomer. And I'm like, you realize that my parents are baby boomers, and they're like the younger baby boomers, right? Crazy. Okay. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, how about I got to say this to you? Okay, Gen X. Gen Z. You can't even okay, see it. Gen Z. Okay, Gen Z. All right. You and I have a special place in our hearts for Gen Z, don't we? We're I, here to see you guys. We're here to love you guys. And coming up at 7.15, we'll be, we'll be premiering our video where Chris and I are kind of working together to uh, share a lesson to continue our conversation about who Jesus is. I may or may not be pretty high up in a tree. Somebody's texting me about how they got all the questions. Levi, right, so we're come on. Mute the phone. I didn't turn on my phones. All right, so. Silence your phones, you kids. Again, yeah, okay, Boomer. In three minutes, um, it's going to go live on Facebook and YouTube. So check out our pages and watch it. It's all about who Jesus is. And you're going to see Levi stuck in a tree. So have fun with that. Hey. Bye. See you guys. See you.